All right, the new rankings are out for city park systems across the country, and for the first time in a long time, Minneapolis is no longer on top. We still have great parks. They rank very high, but the Trust for Public Land told me today that it's now holding cities to a higher standard. And that new standard, in part, rewarded the efforts of St. Paul. All great communities need great parks. As the rain falls on St. Paul's newest park, it does little to dampen the progress the city has made in opening parks for all. It's certainly a year to celebrate. Once again, Minneapolis St. Paul are always in the top three. And mm -hmm. once again, we celebrate in 2021. St. Paul, as you know, is number two. And uh, uh, Minneapolis is a close number three. The annual rankings of city park systems by the Trust for Public Land now has a new number one. It's Washington, D.C. And it's all because the Trust is using a new metric of equity where the Twin Cities does not score as high. In neighborhoods where residents identify Tim as black, brown, indigenous, Latinx, Hispanic, compared to neighborhoods where residents identify primarily as white, there's, less, there's access to less park space. In fact, in Minneapolis, the trust found 58% less access to parks and neighborhoods of color. In St. Paul, it's 30% less access. What the new metric recognizes that if you have a great park system that leaves some people out, it's, um, it's not all that great. And that leads us back to Midway Peace Park that opens next month. It's in the heart of St. Paul along University Avenue in the Green Line, just one of many new parks built in diverse neighborhoods. We are uh, starting construction for our parks at Highland Bridge for the new development on the Ford site and all of the um, various levels of housing that are going to be present there. All part of responding to the needs of neighborhoods where people live and are moving to. So we're celebrating excellence, um, but it's also a year, it's really a wake up call and a call for improvement as well. And that was Mike Hom, who is the director of parks for St. Paul that we talked to there today. Now, the city of Minneapolis also just opened a new park on the north side. This one's called the Mississippi River Overlook. It's at 26th Avenue North. And for the first time, it gives residents there access to the Mississippi River that they never had before.